Okay, sound hack 3. Uh, I've modified the resolution slightly on this one, so on my screen, so hopefully it's easier to see. Um, so, uh, this time on to uh, convolution and possibly mutation, which are the two other algorithms which I wanted to show you. Um, so, let's pull in. Let's try to think of a good sound to use. No idea what these sound like, we'll just give it a go and see. Okay, um satisfactorily cheesy. Right. Um except that I can't find my playback bar, where is it? Okay, maybe I need to restart the sound again. Um, <clears throat> so, convolution. Um, this is the same basic principle as uh, convolution reverb, which we've seen in the um, space designer in Logic. And uh, insofar as it takes one sound, which is um, which is cross synthesized with uh, another sound in order to apply the characteristics of that sound onto the first sound. Um, so you have an impulse file which is used to, um, which is convolved with your original. Um, so in, in your uh, space designer, basically you, you take uh, an impulse which is f uh, a reverb characteristic of a space that you want to capture. Um, you take it into, you take it and apply it to the sound that you want to apply that reverb to and it applies the characteristics of that space to the original sound. Um, <clears throat> this is a similar kind of thing, it doesn't work quite in the same way, you get some different results and they can be quite nice results. Um, and you just need two sounds that you cross synthesize together. So I've opened one here um, and uh, the first thing you need to do is to pick an impulse It's struggling to do it at the moment. Okay. Um, and I will choose a bongo groove. Again, I've no idea what this is going to sound like, but we'll try it anyway. Open that. Um, and there are various things you can do at this point. Um, you can choose uh, a length used. Now, this particular sound is actually quite short as it is. There are other sounds that you might find are much longer, in which case you can choose a shorter length from that uh, impulse file to convolve with your first sound and if you do that it'll only be the first that you know that small segment in this case 1.2 seconds that will be uh, convolved with the with that sound um, uh, that's up to a point so we'll, we'll do we'll do that for now and um, uh, that's if you don't have moving triggered or, or selected um, We've come down to window uh, hamming, similar kind of shape to hamming that we uh, mentioned in I think a previous tutorial. Again, you could try different um, shapes. Once again, this is a um, an FFT process, uh, but it doesn't give you a, a window length. Um, it just gives you a window uh, enveloping shape. So we'll leave it on hamming for the time being. Um, you can choose any one of these options here. Once again, I'll come back to moving in a bit. Remodulate, remodulates the sound. And gives you a kind of uh, a kind of zingy quality over the top. Uh, brighten emphasizes high frequency content, um, and normalize obviously normalizes the sound. So we'll process that and see what we come up with. Um, no. Oh, it's a too long a sound. Uh, one. This one, and you can see that it chunks through that. But it's quite quiet, but you can tell that it's quite a nice result. So that was from this originally. Convolved with that. Um, and once again, because it's being that, that bongo groove is being repeated 
um, in kind of windows, if you like, uh, you you have this result. Which is quite pleasant. And once again, it's it's kind of similar to the result you'll get if you if you put some uh, weird sound as an impulse into Space Designer. Um, <clears throat> so we'll take a we'll, t we'll go back to our delicate piano sound. Just try something else. Uh, we'll take a longer uh, longer impulse file now. I think how long is that? That's seven seconds. Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll try that. Okay, it sounds like. Right. So uh, we, once again, we go back into sound hack, go to hack, go to convolution, choose and pick impulse, and choose classic bar beat number one. Um, now this time I can take only a portion of that sound, as I said. Um, so I could take uh, actually try it with. Let's try it with the full sound first of all. So we'll process that straight off and just see what it sounds like. And let's go and Probably not a good idea really to call it Convolve 1, Convolve 2 because it's very, um, that doesn't really mean anything. Better off finding a useful name for your files. Okay, it takes a little while to process this because it's having to do it in six second chunks. But it's taking a long time to do this. Very long time to do this. Oh, big pardon. Um, yeah, very long time. How has it done it? Yes, it has done it. Okay, so you get a slightly sort of delayed uh, repetitive quality from that. It's also very, very quiet. That's one of the things um, you will you will find from time to time. Basically what it's doing is, is finding uh, frequencies from both of the files and if it finds two that if, if it finds the same frequency in both files then it will keep that. If it doesn't find the same frequencies then it will lose it. So if you have you know only some some frequency content that overlaps or corresponds between the two files then um, you'll get a rather quiet output which is what's happened there. Um, you can, of course, then go and normalise that, or you can normalise it from within the, the um, process itself. Um, I'm going to go back to the same thing again, just to show you something else. Uh, pick impulse, pick the same impulse. So, classic rock beat. Now, this time I'll put on normalise to make it louder, although sometimes when you do that you get quite a lot of uh, hissy artefacts in there, which is not ideal, but we'll, we'll keep that for now. So, normalise. Um, and now I'm going to I'm actually going to take a very small chunk of this. So I'm going to go down to 0.2 of that. So 0.2 seconds, which is obviously a very small fraction of that six-second file. Um, and then I'm going to put on moving. And what moving does is instead of taking that impulse file and repeating it um, throughout the length of the original file length. Um, it chops it up and kind of time stretches it uh, across that what will be in this case the delicate piano sound so it will make that six second file um, 12 seconds in length and then cross synthesize it with the original um, hopefully that makes sense um, so we'll process that Three, not very helpfully, and off it goes, and then the result is this. Okay, so arguably not as interesting as the previous ones, in, but there was like a few moments in that which were kind of interesting. The thing to do, as with all of these processing techniques, is to try them out. Again, hopefully I've been clear enough to give you some indication of what's going on, but for the most part, with any of these things, as long as you have a, a vague idea of what's going on, you can then go and experiment and you can get some really, really powerful uh, or very kind of
kind of um, interesting and uh, unexpected uh, results. Um, so that's convolution. Uh,